they're good. The orchard was a dream of mine to uh, establish a food-based source in the park and to increase the diversity of this tree species in the park itself. In the past, we've grown small quantities of other fruit, but we've never tried to grow a food source tree such as orchard style apples and pears and plums. So we get our trees from multiple locations throughout Canada. Most of them come from Manitoba and Alberta. After being planted, it takes two to three years for their roots to establish into the ground and then the tree can focus on producing fruit itself. Fruit harvest is to be donated to the food bank, but again, that'll be two or three years before we're ready to even start. I think a place like this sort of exemplifies that we're living in a caring community that really wants to support folks across the board and, and specifically folks facing food insecurity. For us at the Regina Food Bank, we have a couple of, of initiatives that sort of tie into this, like one being targets around making sure we're sourcing food locally. We live in an incredibly robust area that feeds the world and we want to make sure that we continue to find partners that help us feed folks here at home. The other thing is we're in an urban setting, so anything we can do to grow and help grow or, or be benefactors of food growing by people here as opposed to sourcing it from away is fantastic and if, if projects like this are able to really diversify and create more sustainable growing opportunities that's fantastic for everyone. I am hoping to promote some educational value with the orchard by training the public on proper pruning techniques to harvest and increase food production, fruit production out of our trees, and proper harvesting techniques. Currently the orchard has three phases planned and we'll be installing phase two this year uh, with third phase next year. And by the time we establish the third phase, I'm hoping to have fruit production from phase one.